In today's video, we're going to show you around Edgar Evans State Park just outside of Nashville in Tennessee. Yay! Yay. Walking tight, we'll say the light and I cow you. So we just got to our site. It's in Silver Point, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. And I've never quite seen anything like this. I'm mean, a little nervous, to be honest with you. This is Edgar Evans State Park. Now, as you can see, we're parked on a boardwalk. All right? But let's go back here. And it's rainy today, so it's kind of gloomy, but you'll get the idea. So, got a little picnic table here. And here we are. We're up in the air. You can see over the side. There's a marina down there. We're probably, I don't know, 15 feet in the air, I guess. I'll take you around and show you what I'm talking about. So, this is our grill over here. And then our fire pit. And they have a frost free water hook up there. And they have a water hook up in the back for the summertime. But, <clears throat> okay, so this is what you're parked on. Kind of strange, man. I've never seen nothing like this in all our travels. They're literally suspended by these concrete pillars and steel and a wooden boardwalk. There's a site over here that's empty. I'll show you. So I think there's 60 sites here. And I don't know how many are on the water, but they're 30, 50 amp. Yeah, that's what the site looks like. So it's pretty wild. Got to make you a little nervous when you're backing your rig out over a huge drop off. And like, here's a, this is the site we were going to go in, number 50. We ended up in 53. And the reason we switched when we got here was because we wanted to decide it when we were pulling in, the place was so nice, we figured we'd stay two days instead of just one. And 50 wasn't available for two, it was only available for, available for tonight. One thing you got to watch, and I don't know if you can see on the camera, is some of these have a dip in them, which with us, I'm glad we didn't get this one because that would have been a problem trying to level without the front hitting the ground when we dropped the air. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but there's a slight incline here coming out. So we'll put a, we'll probably do like a review on this place. But uh, that's the uh, gist of it right now. We'll go around a little later, maybe tomorrow, and get in the Jeep. Hopefully, it'll be the rain will get out of here. But we're uh, on our way to Arizona. We left our spot in Tennessee, and I didn't want to go too far. We drove it, this is about three hours from where we winter typically. And uh, I figured I would. Uh, get on the road. We haven't been on the road in about five or six months. And I always like to take it easy the first day. And so we did a three hour trip, a couple hundred miles, make sure everything's working with the Jeep and the coach. 
and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I am having an issue with the coach and uh, it's out of the blue. I think it's a ground. The, uh, when the turn signals are on, the reverse lights come on also. They blink with the turn signals. I think it's a ground, so I'm gonna try to investigate that tomorrow. But that's what happens when you sit for a while and you don't run it. Uh, that's kind of why we like to take it easy the first day and go for a little ways and uh, make sure, you know, all the bugs, we don't have any issues and stuff like that. So, but here, yeah, here's our site. So we're up in the air a little bit and uh, got an area here. You can walk down to the lake. This is Center Lake, I believe, in the name of it. It's pretty cool. It's very, uh, I guess the camera won't show, but it's very hilly in here. You gotta be, gotta be on your game. They got a lot of areas closed. They only got a couple areas open, I guess, for the winter. And uh, there's a dump station up the hill there. We hit that on the way in, so that's that. So we'll get back to you in a little bit. We uh, get some more. We'll like, get a chance to go around. We haven't had lunch, so we're gonna go in and have some lunch right now. And then uh, we'll go out and explore. And that's that. Edgar Evan, Evans, Evans. I keep trying to say Evans, but Evans. Edgar Evans State Park in Tennessee. All right, so on our way out to Arizona, we found this park and we really didn't know much about it until we pulled in. And as you've seen in the videos, it's all these platforms around the lake that you've got to back onto with your rig. So we didn't get a, uh, we didn't get a lot of time to spend there. We actually cut our trip short by a day because it was raining and I was having the issue with the brake lights. Yeah, weather didn't cooperate. But <clears throat> when we went, it was, it was pretty much empty in there. Um, well, it was early December, right. early to mid-December when we were there. They only have 20 sites that are opened all year round. Right. So when we were there, that's probably why it was, uh, I mean, there were sections closed. Yeah, they were yeah. closed off. Um, but we missed a lot that we could have done. So yeah, we. Uh, I would definitely do this park again, but in the summertime probably be a lot, whole different experience than what yeah. we had. Um, it's a 6,000 acre park and um, they have 12, I think, hiking trails. Yeah, it's really cool. It sits way no, back it's in. Seven trails, seven trails, about 12 miles long. Right. Two of them you have to check in and they're easy to um, difficult, literally. That's why you have to check in <laughs> so that they know that you've made it out after you've um, trekked this one part of the trail or so. There's two of them like that. It's kind of weird because we, we went in and we actually added an extra night to our stay because yeah. we wanted to check it out because we were so excited it was, it when was we pulled cool. in. And then we ended up canceling the uh, second day because there was 100% chance of rain. It was cold and wet, nasty, but it definitely has potential. Yeah, we and figured it, we'd get on down the road instead of just sitting in the, road the and coach. The brake light thing kind of wigged me out, so we... Uh, yeah, they have... um. Uh, restaurant year round marina the marina offers boat rental so it's in the summer there. i'm sure there's plenty to do they had the hiking as i said um fishing obviously being on the lake they have uh fishing supplies and whatnot at the marina so. and it's it's different because uh their barbecue is not next to your coach so to speak as as you see in the pictures it's kind of off on the roadway so it's a whole different uh vibe i don't know i can't that say for sure cool, if i like it or if i think it's it's quirky i guess it's definitely the best word. Quirky. <laughs> so yeah. I've been, we've been to a lot That's of parks cool. and i've never seen anything like it so and like i mentioned in the ver uh, video earlier in the video just make sure you pick one that doesn't have that slope the sites are up to 33 feet in length yeah and there's just a few there's they say a couple that are 40 foot. 40 foot and so. it's it was tight yeah, for us careful. at 35 foot um they have about 60 sites they offer electric which was i believe the 50 amp hookup right hun yeah. and water they have a dump station and on-site bathrooms i think there's three different shower sites they have full-time winter hookups for water 
and which I showed you earlier in the video, they're at the front of the site and then the rear is for the summertime use. So the front ones are heated and uh, frost free. So you can go there in the winter, which is, it would be kind of cool to go there if we, we, we were there on a, not a, such a gloomy rainy day. Yeah. It'd be awesome because there was nobody there. We had the whole place to ourselves. Well, but it's just a gorgeous park. Obviously the summer. I want to go back and check it out. Yeah. yeah obviously the summer is uh, the time to be there, I'm sure. So, so definitely the park if you're out that way outside of nashville and you want to try something out yeah different. i mean 65 miles east of nashville isn't too bad either if you want to go in and do the city um planning that way it but, worked great yep yeah, uh, that's about all we can really tell you we didn't get to explore a lot we did drive around in the jeep unfortunately i didn't get any video of that um but we checked oh, it no, out. we didn't take the camera, I guess, when we were tooling around. I think we took it, but I think it got accidentally deleted. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, if you're out that way, it's definitely uh, it's something different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so if we ever get back there, we'll give you a little more on it. But that's about all we can say about it right now. It, it is kind of hilly, but it's no problem for a bigger rig. Um, the dump station was nice. And uh, the people were nice there, so... Yeah, check kind it of out. A cool uh, platform too. I'll put a picture in of the uh, behind the uh, sign-in station there, or whatever the ranger station that's elevated up in the air. I guess you can get really phenomenal views. We did see a lot of deer and stuff. We did. So mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. So yeah. All right. Well, that's that. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Click subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Check out the super <coughs> thanks. Nah, I got a cough. <laughs> I was trying to hold it and made a face. Okay, All try that. Ready? Okay. Okay. Oh, I got to put my cool glasses on. Slide on over. Freeze it in. Bring it in, love, like you love me. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. <laughs> Located in Tennessee. Why are you looking at me like a question? You want to try that again? Because you said Evans. Try it's again. Edgar Evans. 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 E V I N. Evans. E V I N. Yeah, Evans. E -V -I -N. Yes, Evans. All right, come on, let's go. Here we go. In today's video, we're going to show you around Edgar Evans State Park on Center oh, Hill Lake. Oh, sorry. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, check out the super thanks down below, and we'll see you in our next video.